it's Chris from Bar Fitness Anytime. Thanks for joining me. Let's do a Pilates mat workout. It's gonna be about a level one. Um, there'll be a couple, uh, you know, more advanced, intermediate to advanced exercises in here, but I'll give you some modica modifications. Um, for the workout, you're not gonna need anything, just your body and comfortable clothing. So let's get started. Oh, your yoga mat. Yeah, you will need your yoga mat. Let's get started. Go ahead and have a seat. Wherever you sit on your yoga mat, make sure it's kind of more towards the front so we can roll back. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, I want you to pull underneath your knees, lift your sternum forward, lengthen the back of your neck and push your head backwards. Take an inhale. And then exhale, pull everything in, including your pelvic floor, lengthen the back of the neck, inhale. And then exhale, relax your shoulders, drop your shoulder blades, one more inhale. And then exhale, release, reach your arms out to the sides, arm circles here, circle around. Sit them nice and tall, and circle, soften your elbows, palms are facing down. Pull the core in, and two, and change direction, circle the other way, one. And a two, sit up a little bit taller, three, pull the ribs in, four, and five, and six, and seven, hold it here, reach your arms up to the ceiling, turn the palms together, hold it here. Bend yourself forward on the exhale, pulling your belly to your spine, inhale, lift him nice and tall, keeping your arms right by those ears. Exhale, bend forward, pull your belly to your spine, don't move your low back, inhale, lifting up. And then exhale, pull forward, really pulling through that pelvic floor, deep abdominal, inhale, lift. One more time, bend forward here. And then exhale, inhaling, lifting up. Take your hands, place them behind your knees again. Now we're gonna extend, arch your back backward. Oh my goodness. And then come center, watch your chin. Inhale, arching backwards, this is an inhale. Don't open your chin too much. Keep your neck in line with your spine. Inhale, arching back, stretch back, and then exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lift backwards, like you're reaching up and over a ball here, and then exhale, pull in. Feel your ribs pulling yourself up straight. Inhale, arching back, let's do two more. Pulling underneath those knees, exhale, one more time. Inhale, lift, stretching backwards, and then exhale, release. Reach your arms forward, take an inhale. Exhale, tuck your tail under and go all the way down to the floor, reaching forward the whole time. Stretch your legs out long here, reach your arms up overhead. Breath in, exhale, rolling up. One vertebrae at a time, pulling into that spine as you roll up. Pull your abs in and bend yourself forward as that belly button pulls back to the spine. Inhale, lift nice and tall, stay straight here, and twist, reach your arms out to the side, rotate one direction, oh my gosh, come center. Rotate the other direction, twist, and then come center, reach your arms forward, inhale. Exhale, tuck under, and rolling back one vertebrae at a time. Pushing the low back down. Remember, bend your knees here if that's a modification for you. Lifting up, take a breath, and then exhale, lift. Lift your head and chest and feel that low rib cage push into the floor, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, stretching forward, belly button into the spine. Reaching, stretching, and then lifting up nice and tall, arms out to the side, twist. One direction, and then come center, pull that rib cage in, and the other direction, and then come center, reach your arms forward again. Inhale, exhale, tucking under, rolling back through that vertebrae, one at a time, nice and slow, and then release down. Take a breath in, reach your arms up, and then exhale, pulling forward. Belly is in, stretching, 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 bending forward here, stretching those arms over those toes, lifting them nice and tall, arms out to the side, twist. Rotate one direction, try not to lean. Make sure you feel like you're right on top of that tailbone, right on top of your sit bones. Reach your arms forward, last time. Rolling back and we're gonna stay. One vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, all the way down, and then reach your arms up overhead. Swing them onto the side by your hips, plant your hands, bend your knees. Plant the feet, make sure the feet are only about a you know, couple inches apart from the knees couple inches apart from one another, so the feet are in a little bit tighter to the seat. So that means the feet aren't too far apart from each other either. Neutral spine, so we'll arch to that low back, we're gonna hip roll. Inhale, exhale, tuck and under imprint, hip rolling up. One vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, pushing over those knees to the toes, and then hip rolling down here. Stretching through that back. Make sure that doesn't fall, inhale. 
and then exhale, tuck and under. Use just your abdominals to come into a strong imprint. Rolling up, still using your abs mostly, but then now the glutes a little bit, right? And then rolling down. Can't help but use the glutes on hip roll. Keeping that pelvis tucked here, one vertebrae at a time, releasing to a neutral. One more time, exhale, hip rolling up. Watch your knees, that's it. Your knees aren't splaying out towards um, the sides. Lifting up, and then exhale, hip rolling down. Pull that belly button underneath your rib cage. Rolling that spine down. Now I want you to do reach arms up to the ceiling. Protract your shoulder blades. Lift the shoulder blades up off the mat, and then plop them back down. Oh, you're in a neutral spine. Shoulder blades lift and then back down. Watching my ribs, make sure they're not flaring. Lift up, protract, and then back down. Just plant neutral. Lifting up, this is the exhale, and this is the inhale as you drop back to neutral. Pressing up, and then back down. Trying to bring awareness to the shoulder blades in that mid back. Lift up, last time, and then back down. Hold it here. Neutral spine, roll your head and chest up, meaning you're not coming up very high because you're in that neutral. Hold it here, reach your arms up below those knees, 10 pulses. One, two, keep that neutral, keep that strong neutral. Four, five, six, seven, eight, look to those knees, nine, hold it here, 10, come into imprint now. Pushing that back down, see how you can go up a little bit higher. Pulse for 10, one, reach to the knees, two, pull the belly in, three, and four, and five, and six, slide the ribs to the hips, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it here, come back to a neutral. Arch that low back so that's gonna pop your shoulder blades down the back a little bit more. Come into an infant, lift up a little bit higher. And then exhale, come into a neutral. Oh. Inhale, exhale into an infant. Oh. Inhale, hold. Exhale into a neutral, just kind of rocking that low back. Exhale into an infant, reach farther forward. Inhale, exhale into a neutral, arch. And then exhale into an imprint, lift, hold it here. Pull one leg up to tabletop, then the other leg up. Take your hands, place them behind the head. Lifting the head and chest up here, little pulses for 10. One, elbows wide to the side, two, three, and four, and five. Chest up higher, six, seven, eight, Nine, nice and slow, 10. Reach your arms behind those knees. Rock yourself up to sitting, push into those thighs, but don't lower your feet down to the floor. Come all the way up to sitting, holding here. Pull those knees into your chest. Your back of your tailbone, your back off your sit bones, holding here. So you're really stretching through that low back. Pull those knees in, let those thighs relax. Rolling back. One vertebrae at a time, just to the shoulder blades. Push a little pressure into those hamstrings, into those hands. Hold it just at the shoulder blades, inhale. Exhale, pull those abdominals in and roll up. Pushing into those hands just a little bit with the legs. Ooh, getting through a sticky spot I am. Lifting up, Come back, keep it back of the tailbone and the sit bones. Lifting up, inhale. Pull those knees in, exhale. Push the feet away just to counterbalance yourself as you're rolling back, ow. Ooh, rolling back, ooh. Rolling all the way down, inhaling here. Exhaling, rolling back up. <sighs> Lifting up, oh my goodness. Oh, there's always a sticky spot, right? So when you find your sticky spot, and now we all have one, when you find your sticky spot, what I don't want you to do is lift up the shoulders. Be careful of that. Rolling back last time. Pushing into those hands, just a little bit, straightening those elbows. Gain your balance, hold it here. Keep your chest up as high as you can. Take those arms, reach them by the hips. Breathe nice and deep. Inhale underneath you. And then exhale, here we go for 100. In, two, three, four, five, extend the legs if you can. Five and in, two, three, four, five, watching that low back. Five and in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, make the arm movement very small. Five and in, two, three, four, five, what was that, 50? Four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Tighten the quadriceps at the top if you're extending your legs. Tighten right here. Five, and in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, we'll call that seven. Five, and this is eight. Two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set, keep your chest up high. Five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five, chest up higher, ribs down deeper, pull the knees in, and then exhale, roll your spine down. 
Woohoo! Nice work. Plant the feet. Oh my goodness. Okay. Keep your neutral spine. Woohoo! Core is warm. Neutral spine here. We're going to bridge. Arching through that low back. Again, those knees are just about three inches apart or so. Bridge yourself up. Lifting up on an inhale. Pull that rib cage in and then lower yourself down. Inhale, lift up. Breathe into those shoulder blades. Exhale, place it down. So I want you to really breathe underneath you, lifting up. And then exhale, lowering down. We're not holding the bridge. Inhale, lifting, pushing through the feet. Breathe underneath you. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Breathe underneath you. Exhale, lower. One more time. Squeeze those hamstrings and the glutes, lifting up, holding a neutral spine. Exhale, lower yourself down. Pull one knee in, then the other knee in. Give yourself a little rocking stretch here. We're going to do a little spinal rotation. Ooh, okay, hands out by the hips. Legs and tabletop. Drop your knees along with your feet. So the feet are in line with the knees. Go over to one direction. Just twist through that low back and then pull it up through the middle. Now, if you go all the way down to the floor, fantastic. If you don't, that's okay. Notice I can't go all the way to the floor. Ouch. And then come center. My battery pack was in my hip. Twist it over to one side. That's not very comfortable. Exhale, pulling through the core. Pulling over to the other side. Keeping the feet in line with those knees. Lifting up through those low abs. One more time each way. Twist. And then come on up. And then the other time, twist reaching and then come on up grab behind your knees lift your head up push into those hamstrings into those thighs rolling yourself up again but we're not going to drop the feet so staying here in that balance pull those knees in tight let go here keep your balance find yourself back of your tailbone and sit bones you're not up tall you're backwards Ooh, you're in a c curve almost setting yourself up to fail right you're almost setting yourself up to fall down but you're not because you're strong you have your balance and you're good everything is good holding it here breathing good job and now cross your ankles pull your knees in balancing come over and find yourself on your hands and knees ouch and then come forward onto your stomach come forward onto that stomach breathing here relaxing your chest and your shoulders have your arms and your hands right out by your chest so your hands are in line with your head your legs are laterally rotated a little bit, or they can be parallel if your back is okay. I'm going to laterally rotate. So my thighs, my insides and my thighs are trying to touch the floor. Pull that belly in as you press the tailbone down and squeeze the glutes. So the glutes are active. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Your neck is nice and long. Inhale, arch up as you're pressing into your hands just a little bit. You don't have to go too high at first. And then exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting up, pull those ribs in with you. And then exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lift up. So it's extension, but we're not trying to compress the spine. So you're not trying to really push into that mid back yet. Pulling those ribs in and then come center because we're just warming up that spine going backwards. Lifting up on an inhale last time. And then exhale, calm down. Keep your hands right here. Pull your legs in now. If you were um, lightly rotated, now go parallel. Again, push the tailbone into the floor. Lift one leg up, then the other leg up. Your head is hovering up off that mat. Now here, I want you to really try to lift those ribs up off the mat. Can you? No, but I want you to try. Pull those ribs up nice and tight through those obliques, and I want you to swim just the legs. Swim. Pull those ribs in. Breathing inhale. Exhale. So with your ribs pulling, pulled in from the front, Interesting, isn't it? You're not able to open your ribs to the down to the mat, and that's purposeful. What I want you to try to do is lift your ribs up to the ceiling on an inhale. And then exhale, lift up the belly button from the floor. Inhale, open. Ribs up to the ceiling. Exhale, lift the belly button up to the floor, up to this um, up from the floor. Inhale, lift. Watching your shoulders. Exhale one more time. Keep those thighs steady or straight. Inhale, lift. And then exhale and lower your ribs down. Oh my goodness, and lower the feet down. Good job. Push back into a child's pose. Stretch back. Round your back, drop your head to your knees. Excellent work. Breathing here, and again, try to breathe into the backs of those ribs. 
That's a theme in Pilates, right? <laughs> that is Pilates breath. You're breathing backwards. And then come up to the center. Good work. Nice job. Okay, sitting, face in front, and you can sit cross-legged or you can have your legs out in front of you, whichever is more comfortable for you today. I'm going to go ahead and sit with my legs out in front. Reaching your arms out to the side, let's rotate again. Inhale, prepare, pull those ribs in. Exhale, twist over to one direction without a lean. Don't lean that way. If anything, you're going to lean the direction that you're rotating towards. Come center, pull the ribs in. Twist over to the other direction. Lean that way just a little bit to center. Just to kind of off, um, make sure you're um, offsetting what tendency is, is back. So you want to make sure you're leaning forward. Twisting one direction and then come center. Hands are just, we're doing whatever. They're just relaxed. And they're just for decoration right now. And come center. I really want you to concentrate on the rib cage. Twisting, pulling yourself around. Come and center. One more time each way, rotate. And then come center. Watch that your feet don't move. Twist the other direction, pulling those ribs in, and then come center. Good job. Plant your hands to the sides. And again, you can sit cross legged if you want here. We're just going to side bend. One hand's on the floor, side bend over to one direction, pulling over, relaxing the neck. Try not to lift up that shoulder blade. Keep that shoulder blade down that back, lifting up. Inhale, side bend over the other direction. And a two, I don't want you to think this two is a collapse, it's actually a lean and a reach and then lifting up. So think of growing taller off, that hip off those hip bones. Lift the rib cage, coming up center. Lifting up, grow taller from your hips. Lengthen that mid and low back, and then come center. We're not shrinking. We're trying to expand and grow taller. Side bending, and then lifting up. Yes, and then grow taller and lift. Feel that spine really elongate here, and then come center. Very nice, good, shake it out. Let's roll like a ball. Here we go. Coming forward, tucking your toes, lifting your um, knees up, pulling the knees into that chest. You can hold on as we roll like a ball. Here we go. Rolling back, make sure you don't roll onto that neck. Lifting up and balance, hold. Rolling back, using your low abdominals first. Rolling up, notice my head doesn't change. So don't do this. Don't lead with the neck, right? Don't lead with the neck, that's gonna use momentum. Use your abdominals to go from that tailbone to the low back. Tailbone to the low back, to the mid back. Lift, one more time. Tailbone, low back, mid back. And then lifting up, holding here. Stretch both legs out, both arms out. Hold it, you can do it. Reaching here, take both legs and go down to the floor. Hold it, pull those ribs in, bend one knee in here. Really, really round through that low back, come down to the floor, reach. Hold, here we go, switch. In, two, and three. In, and five, pull in, reach into the hips. In, and one, two, three, pull in, five, six, seven, hold it here, pull the hands behind the head, now we're gonna rotate opposite elbow to the knee. Twist, lift up higher, twist. Lift up higher, rotate, and rotate, and rotate. Don't come down in the middle. You wanna reach up, reach up. Stay high through the middle. Twist, and twist, and twist. Pull those ribs in, twist. Let's go a little bit faster. Rotate, 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 and rotate. Exhaling, and inhaling, and exhaling, and inhaling, rotate, and a four. Three, two, and a one. Both legs, hands in, knees in. Hands right by those knees, double leg stretch. Reach arms and legs out, circle around. Lower your head if you need to. Arms and legs out, circle around, pull in. Reach, circle around, so you can be here. Reach the arms and the legs, circle around. Watch in the back though, make sure that back stays down right here, so don't lower those legs until you can have control through that core. Circle around one more time. Reach up, circle around, hold it here, stretch the legs up, we're gonna scissor. Pull one leg in, bring that forehead to that knee. Switch, bring the forehead to the knee, hold. Switch, bring the forehead to the knee, hold. And switch, bring the forehead to the knee, let's go faster. Switch, switch, and switch. Pulling that foot in, that calf, wherever you can grab on that leg, pull in, pull in. Other leg goes down. Down, think of these glutes down here. Squeeze down, squeeze down, squeeze down. Four, three, two, beautiful work. And one, and then come on up. Reach for those toes. You didn't come down, did you? No, 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 coming up. Breathe, push into those ribs behind you. And then exhale, bend and come on in. Woohoo! nice work. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, good, woohoo, nice. 
Okay, readjusting yourself, uh, fixing your clothes, right? <laughs> our clothes have a way of, um, um, kind of, our pants have a way of falling down our, our hips and our shirts have a way of coming up. So make sure everything is coordinated and back in place. Okay, pull the knees into your chest, lift your legs up to the ceiling, and now we're gonna work on low abdominals. Lift the tailbone up, lower down. Reach your arms up right up to the sides. Tailbone up, lower down. So this is gonna disinhibit you. It's gonna inhibit you from trying to pull with the shoulder blades. Notice how very small I'm moving. It is not very big at all. You can bend your knees. Lift up on this is the exhale, this is the inhale. This is the exhale, lengthen your low back here on the inhale. Exhale, tighten it. Inhale, lengthen it, push away. Inhale, pull towards you underneath that rib cage. Rib cage, exhale, push away. Don't arch your back though, inhale, pull. Exhale, push. Inhale, breathe underneath you. And then exhale, press, press away. Two more times, inhale, lift. And then exhale, push away, nice and slow. One more time, inhale, lift. And then exhale, press away, good job. Bend one knee, stretch it long to the floor, and then just hold it there, one leg circle. Arms can come down by the hips. Again, this knee can stay bent. You're gonna circle your leg, make very small circles, like on the ceiling, like what is like a basketball, maybe like a basketball size. And you're keeping control with your opposite hip, pushing that leg down, circle around. You're not moving your pelvis all around. Change direction, go the other way. Circle, pull the rib cage in and out. Pull the rib cage in and three. Exhale around, inhale out. Exhale around and last time. And then exhale around. Hold it here, take the leg and drop it across your body and twist through your low back. Pull it up to the center. Breathe. And inhaling here, stretching. Exhale, pull it up to the middle. Inhale, reach, stretch to that hip. Exhale, lift. Keep your hands and your shoulders on the mats if you can. Open the chest, pull it up through the abs. One more time. Stretch through the hip and the glute. Pull it up through the chest. Bend your knee and then stretch it down. Nice work. Okay, that hip feels good. Bend your other one in and then stretch up to the ceiling. Here we go. Again, it doesn't have to be straight. Small circles. Pick a direction because we change, so it doesn't matter which way you start. Inhale around, exhale, pull. Keeping that opposite hip down, exhale, pull. So when we don't do one leg circle in a band, it does become about more about strength and control. What is this? I think we have one more. Circle and around, change the direction. So it's more about control because you have to do it. It is not about relaxing through the hip anymore. It's about control through this hip and control through your core. Two more. Circle around and one more. And circle around. Okay, now we're gonna twist. Take the leg, drop it across your body. Oh, and then pull it up, exhale. Inhale, drop it across the body, stretch it. Pull it up, exhale. Inhale, reach across. Oh, stretch. Trying to keep your opposite shoulder blade down on that mat to get that rotation through your spine. One more time. Twist over, reach it, pull it up to the middle, bend that knee in and stretch it long. Yeah, okay, that does feel good. Shake it out, grab behind one knee, no fancy roll up, just rock yourself up to sitting. Yay! Okay, coming up on your knees. Now this is a little bit more of an intermediate to advanced move. So if you want to, what you can do for some side hip work is lie yourself down on the mat and do the same thing that we're doing with the leg. Okay, but I'm gonna be on my knees. So what you're gonna do, take a leg, pick it, go out to the side. Knee is facing straight forward. Reaching the arms out, side bend over to the hand onto the floor, reach the other arm up to the ceiling. Lift that leg up or you are completely on the side. Lift the leg up, flex your foot. You're gonna kick it in front. Kick it in front, and then reach it behind as you point. Kick it in front, bend at the hip. Don't move your spine at all, point. Kick it in front, bend at the hip, reach back. Kick it in front, bend, reach it back. Trying to stay on the same plane, that's the hard part, right? Even if you're on the floor, you wanna keep that leg on the same plane as it goes back, that's the hard part, one more. Kick it in front, reach it to the back, everybody hold it back, little pulses lift, and lift, and reach up, and reach up, working that outer hip, 
soften through this elbow. You are on your knee. Your hand is really just for balance a little bit. Don't lean on the hand too much. Lift for a four and a three. Belly is in two and a one. Bring it straight sideways. Flex that ankle and lift it up one. Lift two and three and four. Up higher, five and six and seven and eight and nine, think of lifting your heel. 10, point the foot, reach your leg out as you come up. Balance, switch inside. Oh, before we do that, let's sink into that hip. And then if you're lying on the floor, you can pull that leg across and stretch out that hip. Stretching it, giving a little bit of a break before we go to the other side. Okay, balancing, take the opposite leg, reach it out forward to the side, forward, to the side, it's sideways. Knees facing forward, here we go. Side bend over, oh, plant that hand, reach the other arm up to the ceiling when you have your balance. Hand is planted, lift that leg up. Oh yeah, okay, this is my hard side. Flex that ankle, kick it front. Kick front and reach it back, point the ankle. Kick it front, oh gosh, point the ankle. Kick it front, try not to move through your body at all. Point the ankle. So my leg is not moving very fast, very big at all. It's a very small move because I'm really concentrating on keeping my back very still. Reach it to the back. Keep that leg up higher. Oh, I think mine is shrinking. Press it to the back. Okay, good run. Two more. Push it to the back point. Flex it to the front. Really push that heel. Hold it back here. Pointed foot. Lift up. Lift and lift. Ouch. And lift. Oh, yeah. It's tired. It's tired. Square in your hips. Pull your belly in from the front. There's a lot of core here. Soften through that standing elbow. Lift. Ouch. And lift. Oh, yes. It's hurting. Lift. And lift. Reaching back for four. One. And a two. And a three. Okay. And a four. Now bring it directly to the side. Flex your ankle. Pull that core in. Lift up. One. And a two. And a three. Stay with me. Four. Keep it high. Five. Lift through your heels. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Hold it. Point that ankle. Reach that leg long as it pulls you up to sitting. Ah. Bend both knees. Sit back into your hips. Ow, oh, and stretch those hips out. Woohoo! So just push the hips over to one side, one direction, then push them over to the other side. Ah. I love side leg work for abs. Interestingly enough, yes, it's a lot of hip work, but it's also a lot of core work. Especially if you were on your side, then you're really feeling the core lifting up that rib cage from underneath you. Okay, come onto your stomach. Coming down onto that stomach. Let's arch our back the other way. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Taking your hands, reach them right out in front of you. And they can be, you can be like you're in a narrow X. So your legs are a little bit wider, your arms are a little bit wider from the shoulders. Pull that belly in, squeeze those glutes. Lift your legs and lift your arms at the same time. Holding here, your eye gazes forward, swim. Opposite arm, opposite leg, lift and lift. Up, 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 lift, up, up. Pull that core in. Try not to move your body at all. Go nice and slow so you can feel the control. Squeeze that shoulder blade down that back. Your armpits are engaged. Lift, not your neck. Four, three, two, and one. Hold here, reach. Pull those shoulder blades down to your back. Reach your arms out to the side. Pull your feet together. Squeeze here. Lift that chest up. Open the legs wide to the side. Exhale, pull them together. Squeeze, lifting that chest up. Inhale out to the side. Exhale, pull those abdominals in. Inhale, lift out to the side. One more time, pull. Reach your arms back. Try to touch your heels together if you can. If you can't, that's okay. Mine are not touching. But you're trying to reach those heels together. Hold it. Squeeze those glutes. Get those thighs up. Stay here. Breathe. Pull those ribs up. Pull those abs in. Oh my gosh, yes, this is hard to hold. Hold for four more. Arms up higher. Three. And a two. Extension. One. And come down. Ouch. Come back. Sit back. Do a little child's pose. Woo! Very so important for your spine. So yes, I'm complaining and I'm saying ouch a lot. <laughs> but it is very important. All these moves are very important for the health of your body and health of your spine. Okay, come on over onto your seat. Good work. Take your legs and go out to the sides. And again, same thing here. You can sit cross-legged if you want to. We're gonna do a little saw. Saw is going up on the intermediate level, but it's still an essential um, Pilates mat exercise. 
Pull that rib cage in so you can, you can be kind of narrow if you want to here. Reach your arms out to the sides. Ribs are in, not jutting out forward. Pull those ribs in. Twist one direction. Arms out to the side. Pull one arm forward, one arm back. Bend the head to the knee. This is the exhale. This is the inhale as you reach your opposite arm back and then come center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, bend head to knee. Pull that spine back. Exhale, lift up, reaching that back arm backwards more, and then come center. Let's go faster. Twist, inhale. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up, and center. I love the saw. Lift, and center. Really feel that side back pull you up here, and then center. Really feel your spine working, pulling you up, and then center. Trying to find that straight spine. See how it feels in your body. Twist, pull in, reach, and center. One more each way, rotate. Twist over, lift up, and come center. Last time, reach over, and lift up, and come center, and relax. Nice work. Um, I did do a little, a quick uh, how-to video on spine stretch in the saw. So we're gonna do spine stress next. So if that went a little too fast for you, flip back to the tips and techniques section and see if you can find spine stretch and saw. And then, because um, I talk a little more in depth and go a little bit slower on how to do those two exercises. These two exercises, because they're, they're very essential. They're very um, um, foundational to Pilates, okay? Pulling the ribs in. Spine stretch, you're gonna keep your low back extremely still and straight. Hands are in front. Take a breath in, pull those ribs in. Exhale, bend forward just from your upper body. I want you to reach your arms up to your ears. So your arms are parallel with the floor. Inhale here. And then exhale, pull your spine up as your arms drop. Inhale. Exhale, walk your fingertips forward, bending, lifting up. Inhale. And then exhale, lift up. So what I want to really focus on here, keep going, inhale. Exhale, bend forward, is the movement of your spine, lifting those arms up while the arms don't move right here. So you're moving your spine without moving those shoulders, bending forward, exhaling. Inhaling, lift, hold. Exhaling, move your spine without moving your shoulders, dropping those shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, bend forward, reaching up, inhale. And then exhale, lift up, pull that spine up. Really feel those spine muscles work. Bend forward on the exhale, reaching forward, and then lift up on the exhale. Inhale one more time, and then exhale, bend forward, reach. Lifting up, inhale, bend, and then exhale, pull that spine up, and then let it go and relax. Good job. Okay, let's do a little side bending. Take your legs, swing them out into a pretzel. So either direction, either side, because we gotta do both, so you know what, whatever side you pick is fine. I always like to switch, though. If I'm always going left, I go right. But I'm always going right, so I try to go left more. Okay, you're in a pretzel position. Pull that rib cage in. Try to get both hips on the floor. Notice mine are not. Well, they're almost, it's almost there, but it's not quite. Pull those ribs in and we're gonna side bend away. Press your hand to the floor. And again, it's not a compression of your spine. It's more of a length in here, not the shoulder lifting up. Keep that shoulder blade down and lift up. And then grab onto the shin and side bend the other direction. And then come back up. The same, the whole time you're keeping that rib cage in from the front. Side bending away, over, and then pull yourself up from your spine. So this is, I want you to get the feeling of like spine stretch forward, but we're going sideways. Pull up from that spine. So this direction, I'm going to the left. This is my left. So what's gonna happen is my right side of my back is gonna pull me up. Bending forward over to the right now for me. And now my left side is gonna pull me up. So it's the opposite side of the back that's working. Bending, crunching this bottom waist, reaching, lifting up that opposite side of the back. And then other time, other side, one more time. And then pulling, and then lift up that opposite side. Good work, switching sides. So we're, we're Pilates is controlled movements, uh, slower paced, uh, so that you can really feel your body and how it moves and how it wants to move organically. Um, your habits, your tendencies, you know, what you want to do versus what you should do. This is what I want to do. <laughs> this is what I should do. So keep that rib cage in. Obliques nice and tight here. Side bend over, stretching over. So just becoming aware of pulling your spine up after a side bend from a side bend. 
pulling over to the other direction. Pull up from that opposite side. Just feeling that movement through your back and see if you can really tune into that movement, that muscle work in that side spine behind you. Pulling up, so when I mean the spine, I actually mean the sides of your backs, okay? So not the directly the vertebrae, but it's more on either side of your spine. Where I'm using some spinal muscles for sure, but what I want you to feel is probably the bigger ones pulling yourself up. And it's a little oblique too. Side bending over, lifting up nice and slow. Notice I lift my hand up as soon as I can too, to really get that feeling of my muscles pulling me up instead of my hand pushing me up. Side bend over, I think this is the last set. We've done a lot. Lifting up, lots of side bending. And then one more time, over, 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 and then come on up and pull your ribs in. Okay, good job, nice work. Flip onto your seat and bend your knees. Don't have your knees too tightly bent in. Have the knees out a little bit more. Keep the feet planted. We're gonna do a little teaser. Easy at first, then we can, we can make it harder. Reaching forward and you're gonna roll your spine back one vertebrae at a time. Keep the knees bent, plant the feet. This is a neutral spine here. As those arms reach overhead right by those ears, pull that rib cage in with a neutral spine. Lift the arms up, lift the head up. As the head comes up, you come into imprint here. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Go nice and slow. Stay back of the tailbone and sit bones. Reach your arms up right by those ears. Don't worry about the legs. Reaching backwards and then tuck the tail and roll through as those arms stay right by those ears. If you can, coming back to a neutral. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull forward. Reaching, 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 reaching. Inhale, lift up. Extend that spine backwards here. Reaching and then exhale, tuck under and come forward. Cats make it a little bit harder. Inhale, reach. We're going to bend a knee in. Exhale, pull in and pull in one knee in. Rounding forward, holding it here. Lift up, inhale, stretch the arms and stretch the leg. Hold it here. Now this is a little bit harder, so take the arms and go forward and bend and come down as you bend the knee. Plant the foot as the arms go overhead and you find neutral. Inhale, lift the arms. Watch the rib cage, Chris. And then exhale, pull into imprint, pull that knee in. Lifting up here, bending through that back. Inhale, arching up, stretching, stretching, stretching. Reach that leg along, reach those arms. Tuck under, reach those arms forward as you roll down, planting the foot, finding neutral. Can you do both at the same time? Let's try two. If you wanna stay with a single leg, stay with a single leg, that's fine. If you wanna try both, let's go for it. Here we go. Inhale, lift the arms up, neutral. Exhale, imprint. Bending forward, pull those knees in. Stay back of your tailbone and sit bones. Reach the arms and legs on a diagonal, both. Hold it here, stay, reach those arms back. Now bring your arms forward, pull the knees in. Roll down nice and slowly, plant the feet. Beautiful, inhale, lift. Oh, I'm up my feet out a little bit more. Exhale, imprint, curl up, pull those knees in. Oh my goodness. Stay back of the tailbone and sit bones. Inhale, arch up, stretch, try straighten that back. Stay back of that tailbone and sit bones. Tuck and roll down, stretching, plant the feet. Beautiful work. Stretch the arms and legs out, nice work. Good teaser. I love teaser. There's a lot going on in teaser too. <laughs> Just like saw, there's a lot going on. Stretching out, oh goodness gracious. Okay, grab underneath your knee and rock yourself up to sitting. Let's do a little side bending work here. You are going to come stand a knee. We're gonna stand our knee. Taking, <clears throat> excuse me, fingertips are gonna be away and you're gonna stagger your legs a little bit like this. We're gonna straighten out this top leg and we're gonna keep the bottom leg bent. So you're gonna straighten out that top leg, hands, fingertips are facing away and you're just gonna push up on that bottom knee, lift up and side bend and push into that bottom knee hip, stretching here, drop your arm, drop your head. Really side bend here, come down. Watch this bottom shoulder that it doesn't jut forward. Coming down, inhale. Exhale, lift up, push into the heel of the hand. Don't straighten that elbow too much. Make sure it stays soft. Bending here, inhaling. And then exhale, coming down. Pulling the core in, inhale. One more. Exhale, lift up, paint the rainbow. Push up into the heel of the hand. Bend that spine, push those hips up and forward and then slowly come down, watching that bottom shoulder coming down. Nice work. Come to the other side. Love side bend. Straight leg, bent knee, right there. 
Sometimes you have to play around with side bend to kind of feel where it's a natural position for your body. Fingertips are forward, in line with the front knee. I forgot to say that on the first side. Make sure your hand and knee are in line with each other because what we're doing is trying to look for a straight, um, uh, like a, you know, in between two panes of window glass position in a side bend. Reach in the arm, inhale, prepare. Exhale, push up, soften through that bottom elbow, watch that bottom shoulder and bend. And I don't feel like I have as much um, bending on this side. Stretch the head down, inhale, exhale, coming down slowly with control, feeling this bottom shoulder with control. Inhale, lift, exhale, push up, softening through that bottom elbow, push up that top hip, stretch those hips up, oh my goodness, and they're going forward. Don't push your butt behind you and then coming down. How many did we do? Three? I think we did three. I think we did three. Inhale. It was like 30 seconds ago and I can't remember how many we did. <laughs> Exhale, lifting up. Oh, side bending over. Over, 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 overhead to the floor, the hands to the floor, and then lower yourself down. Good job, perfect. Okay, coming up to standing. Whew. Okay, so right about now, your spine should feel great. Mine feels wonderful. So your spine should feel really nice and loose and limber, right? Okay, push-ups. Mm -hmm. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, dive forward one vertebra at a time, just like a standing roll down. Hands plant on the floor, bend your knees. Walk out to a plank, pull that core in here. Drop in your tailbone, lifting your head nice and long. Your hands can be a little bit wider here if you want to here, you're on your toes. Here we go, four push-ups. Bend on one, press up. And two, nice and slow so you can feel it. Three, and a press. Head is up, four, and a press. Stay here, lift those hips up. Walk back, pushing into your hands, into your shoulder blades, into your shoulders. Bend through your knees, let your head hang. Tuck your tail, rolling all the way up one very at a time, dropping your shoulders. Feel like spine stretch forward here where you're pulling your spine up and dropping your shoulders at the same time. Inhale, lift, one more set. Exhale, dive. Inhale, walking out. Walking, 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 walking. Bend hands in line with the shoulders, but they can be a little bit wider. Four push-ups here. One, nice and slow. Two, pull the belly in. Three, lift up. And one more, four. And push up. Lift the hips up. Push into those shoulders, push into those hands. Walking back, bend your knees when you have to. Tuck your tail. Rolling, dropping your shoulders. Coming all the way up to standing. Lift up on an inhale, stretch. And then exhale, push the air out. Inhale, one more. And then exhale, press the air out. Hold it here for a second. Inhale, lift up one arm. Exhale, press down other arm. Stretch through that shoulder. Exhale, press down. Last time, both. Inhale, lift. And then exhale and press down. Woo! Nice work. Good job. I hope you feel really good and um, I want to see you again. So thanks a lot for joining me and have a great day. I'll see you again real soon.